in the country. Well, so it sounds like the establishment is is really responsible for building a lot of these guys up and then tearing them down, you know, in, this, in the same process. Right. Check it out, guys. Here's the book, Drugs as Weapons Against Us. This should be in everyone's arsenal. If you're a truther, it belongs on your bookshelf. Check it Thanks out. So much, and this man. is not a plug for InfoWars because we don't carry it, at least not yet. John, thanks for joining us. Uh, hey, we'll have to have you on back in the near future. That'd be great, Darren. Thanks so much. All right. That was very interesting. Always wondered if the U.S. intelligence agencies actually played a role in introducing things like LSD into our society back in the day. And now we know. Definitely going to have that. I'd like to have that guest back on our show one day. Look, we're going to take a quick break and keeping in tune with our drug conversation when we come back, it's the Cocaine Blues. Also, a very powerful special report from InfoWars investigator John Bound as he reveals the illegal arms deals between Benghazi. Hmm, I wonder how Al-Qaeda ended up with all those surface-to-air missiles. You'll find out up next on the InfoWars Nightly News, so stick around. I began to get into iodine a few years ago because it was helping me and my family so much get healthy and detoxify. I believe our research is conclusive. This is the best iodine out there. And I know this for a fact, nobody else has got iodine based on these pure crystals, ladies and gentlemen. For a limited time, experience the ancient power of Survival Shield X2. I believe our research is conclusive. This is the best iodine out there. Take advantage of this at InfoWarsLife.com. And why wearing a Hillary for President t-shirt might get you punched in the face. They thought it said Hillary for President. He said, I was seconds away from sending my bar back over here to, to punch you in the face. Since you're wearing a Hillary for Prison shirt, you don't have to buy drinks here. Everything's on the house. Hillary for President! Hillary's not surging, I tell you that. They're not saying that. They're not saying that. Thank you. Have a Donald Trump endorses Hillary for prison. Get your Hillary for prison 2016 t-shirt at the InfoWars store. And on the back, it says legalize freedom. Show your disapproval of Hillary by buying your t-shirt today. But what she's done is criminal. This is an American president. Just add puppet, then vote and repeat every four years. We must wage what I have called total war against public enemy number one in the United States, the problem of dangerous drugs. Took a shot of cocaine and away I run. Uh, but William Robert Tosh Plumley is our guest. I've been called over the years to see how he's Forrest Gump. When I start flying cocaine back into this country to carry on a, an operation in violation of the Bolton Amendment, um, I began to have a, a little bit of a conscience about that. The Reagan administration's determination to sell arms secretly to Iran and to help guerrillas fighting the Marxist government of Nicaragua despite congressional objections was the engine that drove the Iran-Contra policy. Secretly, Lieutenant Colonel Oliver North devised a scheme to finance the Contras by overcharging Iran for the weapons. You are. You're an anti-terrorist expert. We, Iran was officially a terrorist state. You went around I telling me that you, you, I wanted those but Mr. I wanted Mr. President, Mr. The question is, out of there. And if you're not with them, cops and military, ah, then you will declare that you're with the Republic now. I am a former Los Angeles police narcotics detective, and I work South Central Los Angeles, and I will tell you, Director Deutsch, and the agency has dealt drugs throughout this country for a long time. Okay. Mr. 
Webb, I was wondering if you uh, have ever gotten a chance to look into the uh, rumors and reports that uh, Mena, Arkansas was a major drug trans uh, shipment center during the 80s. For those people who don't know, there was a major drug trafficker named Barry Seal who was based his air fleet at Mena, which is a tiny little airport up in the mountains of, of Arkansas. Russell Welch, criminal investigator for the Arkansas State Police. Did Barry Seal ever say to you, I work for the CIA? He said he was working, I worked for the CIA. Unit 5 has learned in the early 1980s, even before his arrest, Seal had bought one of his planes from a CIA front, Air America. The plane was used by Seal for drug smuggling, and the CIA company was paid in the traditional drug dealer fashion of $300,000 in cash. Last night in Louisiana, Barry Seal's enemies caught up with him and killed him. Tonight, three men are in custody. NBC's Brian Ross reports that Seal was about to testify for the government once again. Well, how do you think the crack rock gets into the country? We don't own any planes. We don't own no ships. But we are not the people who are flying and floating that in here. Back when this all first came out, people didn't believe the CIA was bringing drugs in. I didn't believe it. Even when Gary reported the story, and, and I was like, this guy Gary, what is he talking about? I was involved with the CIA, and no way. Um, it wasn't until uh, the CIA themselves <laughs> put out their report. I mean, that was when I really... When it really hit me that, hey, Gary was right. Crashing through the lies and disinformation, it's Alex Jones on the GCN Radio Network. They set them loose, Madam Secretary because you're running for president. Millions of taxpayer dollars on this abusive effort to derail Secretary Clinton's presidential campaign. Of course, it's political. Problem is, the Democrats don't like tasting their own poison. Notice we don't hear the Democrats apologizing for the Justice Department's targeting of journalists or the IRS's targeting of conservative groups and Christian organizations but ranking member Democratic Representative Elijah Cummings limiting the investigation to a simple political attack would mean that the American public suffers from mass amnesia. CNN has learned the CIA is involved in what one source calls an unprecedented attempt to keep the spy agency's Benghazi secrets from ever leaking out. Benghazi is about the NSC directing an operation that is perhaps shadowy, perhaps doesn't, has a presidential finding, perhaps doesn't, that takes arms and men and puts them into Syria in the guise of the Free Syrian Army. Whatever Stevens was involved with, it became very well known uh, to these uh, uh, terrorists, these radicals, who he may have been dealing with, that he was uh, uh, more than just an ambassador. I think he was targeted, and I think the reason that the military was told to stand down is, look, the military, you, we know that that so, so pipe, piping still goes on between the Pentagon and the CIA. And, you know, if the CIA is up to something, they don't want the military involved. And I think that's what we had in Benghazi. I think this was a CIA operation. And I don't care how many Marines were off the coast, uh, they were not going to be called in. And, and again, Obama, based, basically, you know, this gets back to what I wrote, this guy comes from the CIA family. Uh, he has a background. He knows He knows when he's uh, uh, responsible for his CIA operation. He's not going to say a word about it. And, you know, he'll remain silent for seven hours, eight hours, or, you know, however long it takes. Ambassador Stevens met with his last visitor of the day, which apparently was the Turkish representative. That's notable. Turkey is partnering with us right now in a covert action to help do two things. Increase, increasing level of intelligence we're aware of by using the Turkish intelligence assets on the ground in Syria and by actually working with us to quote unquote arm the friendly rebels, whoever they are. And I think that's notable by the fact that Ambassador Stevens met with this Turkish representative right before the firefight. The corporate media was forced to admit that the Benghazi attack was staged by a State Department hired jihadist security outfit in connection with an arms transfer to al-Qaeda mercenaries in Syria. However, later on, these facts were deemed as speculation by the mainstream media as the Obama administration continued to cover up the real reason for the murder of Ambassador Stevens, downplaying the incident and characterizing it as a non-event. 
not requiring congressional investigation and the impeachment of President Obama. The Obama administration announced in late September that it planned to expand a program to secure and destroy Libya's huge stockpile of dangerous surface-to-air missiles and that the U.S. State Department has one official on the ground in Libya as well as five contractors who specialize in explosive ordnance disposal, all working with the Rebel Transitional National Council to find the looted missiles, ABC News reported. Doubtless, instead, they became part of the CIA stockpile destined ultimately for ISIS in Syria. Hillary's song and dance on Capitol Hill was a sideshow, ignoring the CIA's secret arms transfer elephant in the room. Why has no one been held accountable? How come not a single person lost a single paycheck connected to the fact that we had the first ambassador killed since 1979? Uh, the laws that govern those decisions uh, were followed uh, very carefully. Yes, ma'am. I'm not asking what the ARB did. I'm asking what you did. Uh, there could not be immediate uh, action taken, but there was a process that uh, was uh, immediately instituted and which led to decisions being made. Yes, ma'am. The decision was to put these back in full back pay and keep them on as employees. If the Democrats on this committee had their way, dozens of witnesses never would have been interviewed. Your public record would still be private. Thousands of documents never would have been accessed. And we wouldn't have the emails of our own ambassador. That may be smart politics, but it is a lousy way to run a serious investigation. John Bound for Infowars.com. All right, folks, that's going to do it for tonight's show. The InfoWars Nightly News will return, Lord willing, tomorrow evening, 7 o'clock p.m. Central Time. Leanne McAdoo will be hosting tomorrow. So until then, have a great evening. We'll see you back right here tomorrow night. See ya. Unfortunately, you've grown up hearing voices that incessantly warn of government as nothing more than some separate sinister entity that's at the root of all our problems. It's time to stop submitting to this tyranny. It's time to realize that we're being enslaved. Some of these same vo voices also do their best to gum up the works. They'll warn that tyranny is always lurking just around the corner. Tyranny with a capital T. You should reject these voices. Everything that's been done with torture, rendition, the NDAA, the Patriot Acts 1 and 2, from day one was focused on the American people, period. That's it. It's always been about erasing the Bill of Rights and Constitution and rolling out NSA spying publicly, saying it's for Al-Qaeda, rolling out torture, saying it's for Al-Qaeda, but it's really for the general public, rolling out total control and the end of any underground free market systems in the name of fighting Al-Qaeda, but really shutting down any type of free commerce. This is all about converting us from a free society to a tyranny with a capital T. is back. If you want a product that has 10 known ingredients that naturally get your body to relax, your brain to relax, so you get deep, restful sleep, knockouts it, InfoWarsLife.com. L-theanine, hops flower extract, lemon balm extract, valerian root extract, chamomile flower extract, L-tryptophan extract, melatonin, and more. All organic, all the natural sources. It's the same price as leading brands of melatonin that are three milligrams a piece. It has three milligram, the standard recommended dose for an adult. It's got the GABA. So it would probably cost $50 to take all this as separate pills. It's $19.95. You take one or two of these and it just is really clean restful sleep is what the reviews are. It's what I've experienced. 
and it just synergistically puts everything in there. InfoWarsLife.com. That's InfoWarsLife.com. Or call 888-253-3139. You are watching the InfoWars Nightly News, which airs 7 p.m. Central at InfoWarsNews.com. And your support is helping us defend liberty worldwide.